think it's a, it's a story. It's a love story, uh, and and it's a story of a great American hero. It's a story of commitment to country and to family. So I think this is one of the important documentaries that that have been done, and, and everybody should see it because it's it's inspiring, uplifting, and gives us all hope that no matter what you're faced with, that there is tomorrow, and you can make the best out of anything. It's not a sad story. It's a real story, and it's a real American story. And I think anyone who watches it will walk away feeling so much more inspired about their own lives than when they walked into the theater. Oh, Any time that we can honor our servicemen and women, you know, it's a, it's a great opportunity, and particularly to honor Travis during this time of an individual that has overcome so much in his young life. Uh, he, he's an inspiration to many people. And, you, and you, you sit here and you feel, what have I done that's important? Nothing. Yeah, he and, and all those around him are special people. Glad I got to met, meet a few of them. He's made a positive out of a negative, which is uh, so commendable for a man his age. It's a documentary, but it's it's a you know it's a combination. It's almost a, a rule breaker in documentaries, in my opinion. You know, so right there, that's like you know that's pretty brilliant. I, I thought it was brilliant. You know, this I, event is really special just to see the pop and circumstance that goes with it and hear the crowds cheer. I'm, I'm told I'm not going to have a dry eye during the movie. I think I'm about to tear up already. This is very cool. And the way the movie really portrayed the attitude of it being just a bad day at work and what really drives us to be where we want to be especially after an injury like this it's mind-blowing that the movie could actually capture that I've been to Afghanistan it's sometimes it's good even for us to get reminded of sacrifices other service members have made I mean we, we get thanked a lot of the sacrifices we made but within our own family there's other service members that have made bigger sacrifices It's something that I only imagined or dreamed. I mean, it, went, it exceeded my expectations. And man, I'm, I'm so excited to have not only Travis uh, be a part of this event, but also have you know, so many other wounded warriors plus uh, servicemen come out and join us tonight. This is amazing. I mean, we made this film. We wanted to do it for Travis. Uh, we had no idea. I mean, this is so unexpected. And so to have the, the people and the support behind us across the country and people rising up in each community having us, you know, come screen that is amazing. And, and to be here is something that I'll never forget for the rest of my life. This is a, a huge milestone for our team. There was such a tremendous response to this that the movie was supposed to be shown on one screen and ended up on two screens. Tonight, Staff Sergeant Travis Mills of Vassar got to tell his story in front of congressmen and senators in our nation's capital. You've showed this film in 20 different states. Yep, the capital of Washington, D.C. is really awesome, but <laughs> fine, square. When you're a family member, you have a wife, you have kids, you can't watch this movie and not feel that in your heart and of how much his family brought to him to his success and what he has done today. And we can even use it as a, as a leadership tool to say that you know, sometimes we complain about the small things. He never complained. And I think by him having the courage to stand in front of a camera, tell his story, it'll give inspiration to many others to uh, literally uh, follow in his footsteps. It's like a sport, but this, is what, this wasn't a sport. This was live, and it actually happened to a human being who is here tonight. And, I'm, and I tell people I'm honored to be here because it touched me. From that first time I met Travis, it was incredible. I mean, I was inspired just to shake his hand for the first time, and this is the first time I've seen the film. It's fantastic. I, I don't know why this film is not in every theater across the nation right now. I mean, I'm, I'm dead serious. It needs to be in every single theater. I, I don't think there's one dry eye in the room, and I don't think that one person left here not being inspired.